Welcome to Foresight IAS Academy, India's first online civil service program. With the help of this pro program, you can learn from your home itself. Now, let's uh, have a look at the origin and evolution of the earth. When we, when we are talking about the origin and evolution of earth, one question come in our mind, that how this universe formed. Many scholars came with different different theory to, to explain the how the universe formed. Many scholars said that earlier the universe was in the shape of cigar. Some said that it was in the shape of nebula, that is cloud. But by the time these theories was discarded, and in 1920, one scholar, Edwin Hubble, came with a theory named as Big Bang. Which is also known as black hole theory. In this theory, he said that that universe is expanding. He said that earlier the universe was a small ball. Due to explosion, this ball exploded and which led to the expansion of universe. At the time of this expansion, uh, many gases also came into existence. Let me tell you with the help of one example. We are taking a small balloon and we are putting a small three dot on it. When we will expand this balloon with the help of air, what will be the result? That this dot will also going to expand and the distance between them will also going to expand. This led to the formation of universe. Now, as I told you, some gases were also came into existence. One of the gases hydrogen which led to the formation of star as sun is also a star which is made up of helium now see hydrogen is H and helium is H4 when the hydrogen get consolidated with three more hydrogen bond, it will lead to H4. Now, this one interesting fact. When these four, four bonds are consolidating with each other, few amount of energy was left out, which come on Earth as a sunlight. Now, next question come in our mind, that how these planets form. When this uh, universe start uh, expanding, some amount of dust and gases also was there. But as the time started decreasing, these dust and the gases particle started uh, started condensing with each other, and they made some small objects like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Then uh, one more thing I want to make you sure that why these planets are big in size and why they are small? It is because of gravitational pull. If we are comparing this Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune with these four planets, these planets have more gravitational pull than these planets. That's why they are big inside. It means they are attracting the dust as well as the gaseous part. If a person wants to go on Jupiter, if he land there, he will go inside there. Because the upper part is wholly gaseous. That's why these planets are known as gaseous planet and these planets are known as land planet. Now, uh, one Question come in our mind that why these planets are revolving around the sun. <coughs> it is because of gravitational pull. As these planets have their own gravitational pull, sun ha also have their gravitational pull. But these planets are small in size, but they have more, 
they have a more gravitational pull than sun that's why they these planets started revolving around the sun let's have a look on a video you will get a more clarity on this Now, as you can easily see that these planets are revolving. Why? Just because of this gravitational pull. Now, let's come back to the class. How this life evolves. This is called as earth crust, the upper part of the earth and beneath the earth there is a lava that is metal stage. I am talking about some 4000 million years ago. At that time the, the lava which is beneath the earth had come abruptly on the surface of the earth. When this lava coming on the uh, surface of the earth, they also came with water vapor, which led to the formation of clouds. And these clouds come with rain, which led to the formation of our ocean. Now, Due to this water and sunlight, there was one chemical reaction which led to the formation of our first living organism which is called as blue green algae. Now we are very much near to our present stage. I am just taking you somewhere around 225 million years ago. Somewhere around 225 million years ago, our the our Earth was earlier a consolidated island, the name as Pangaea, and the water that we have already discussed is known as Panthi Dasha. After some uh, 25 million years after. This land was divided into two parts due to some in internal disturbance. The, uh, the upper part is known as Eurasia and southern part is known as Gondwana land. This breaking of the monsoon, uh, this breaking of the land was a continuous process. Afterwards, the Eurasian Gondwana land again divided into some parts. This era is very important with respect to India. This North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Antarctica, Australia and here it is India. It is said that India was part of Africa and Antarctica. It was break away from these two continent and started drifting towards upward. Now let's look. Now let's look on a video which will give you more clarity.
no as you can see this is the indian plane it's moving towards north and converging with converging with the european plane this led to the formation of our himalayan now thank you detail you can also visit our website 